Zimbabwe Parks and Wildlife Management Authority is mandated to conserve Zimbabwe's wildlife heritage through effective, efficient and sustainable protection and utilization of natural resources for the benefit of the present and the future generations. It protects the wildlife population in Zimbabwe, including the big five, namely the lion, elephant, leopard, buffalo, and the rhino. The organization is self-funded and it seeks to work with various local, regional, and international conservation donors and partners in the battle to safeguard the country's flora and fauna. Zimpax promotes gender equality as women play the same role as men in our anti poaching efforts and we like to call these women conservation queens. We are always filled with joy and pride each time we get a new birth in our parks, as is the case with Isaac, the new baby rhino. This baby rhino is in lecture uh, recreational park. It is through this documentary that the Zimbabwe Parks and Wildlife Management Authority seeks to showcase its rhino conservation efforts as well as inviting conservation partners to join the authority in safeguarding the rhino from poaching. So here we are, helping us to protect Isaac the rhino is a great step towards the conservation of the endangered rhino species in Zimbabwe. The white rhinoceros, usually abbreviated as rhino, are the second largest mammals after elephants and the majority, 98.8% of white rhino species occur in just four countries, namely Zimbabwe, South Africa, Namibia and Kenya. Northern white rhinos and southern white rhinos are genetically distinct subspecies and are found in two different regions in Africa. Southern white rhinos were thought to be extinct in the late 19th century, but in 1895 a small population of less than 100 rhinos was found in southern Africa. After more than a century of protection and management, they are now classified as an endangered species. The recreational park located southwest of Harare along Harare Bulawayo Road is just 37 kilometers away from Harare after Hunyani Bridge, is playing an instrumental role in conserving this endangered rhino and other animal species. Of importance among the rhinos is baby Isaac, named after one of the longest serving rangers in the park who retired. Isaacs, like all rhino families, have very strong complex social structures. He has a brother called Evans and his mother's name is Carol. Samson, one of the bulls in the park, is believed to be Isaac's father. Rhino families can grow up to 14 rhinos, including the calves. Adult males defend their territories, which they mark with dung piles and urine. The home range for adult females can be more than seven times larger than that of an adult male, depending on habitat quality and population density. Breeding females are prevented from leaving a dominant male's territory, which is marked and patrolled by its owner on a regular basis. Males competing for a female may engage in serious conflict using their horns and massive side to inflict wounds. Isaac and his family are protected by a team of passionate rangers that comprises a fairly large number of female rangers popularly known as the conservation queens who are led by the area manager. My name is uh, Sharon Msakwa. I'm the area manager for Manyame Lakes. Manyame Lakes covers Chivero and Dawendo Lake. Um, I'm responsible for the conservation activities in, in both the water bodies. I'm also responsible for the financial and commercial activities of the area. Conflict is common among the rhino bulls over the females and territory. This may be the reason why Samson had broken down a fence and run away from the park 
to look for new territory. Or it may be that he had found some new tasty food like cabbages in the neighboring farms, and the rangers are on high alert to bring him back to the safety of the park. I'm afraid to put it. Tracking down and bringing back Samson is no easy feat, as the rhino can trot for very long distances. The rangers, with the guidance of the area manager, are however determined in making sure the mission is accomplished. Equipped with exclusive skills and training, they make sure the rhinos are protected and safe. Despite the complexity of the nature of their work, which requires them on station 24-7, the conservation queens still manage to balance their time at work and with their families. I joined uh, conservation work because naturally I love nature and flora and fauna, the animals and uh, how to manage them and to preserve them. You really have to do to undergo a special training, and our training is just for three months. Yes, then we'll be learning about anti poaching techniques, the law enforcement, the revenue collection, and the monitoring, conserving, and preserving the wildlife itself. I was happy for some time uh, as a female. We went for a shooting range. I know in the country they normally specialize the army, the police and the other forces. But as wildlife lead ranger, I managed to go there and take the second position at shooting range. So when I think that moment and I'm happy because even in the field, I'm not perfect in shooting and protecting all the animals in wildlife. I want my daughter to join in conservation because uh, it's one of the jobs that you do physically and in the field and natural. Uh, what really inspires me is uh, we have uh, Mrs. Tom. She is the first black female ranger. She, she inspires me a lot to do this job. Because uh, in the 1990s, Zimbabwe became the, one of the leading countries uh, in conservation and managing uh, wildlife itself. But go and pull out that snake outside. Then do put it outside, then I'll continue to put my house in order. Simjandanya zidza pam soro peshacho. Kuchenge tezwa kushpembe. And <laughs> Uh, conservation work takes a lot of your time in that you work almost 24-7. You find yourself at work even after working hours. So it's very difficult because the work follows you at work. If, for example, a rhino is missing, it doesn't matter whether it's 12 midnight, you have to, to come up with strategy of finding or protecting that rhino. 
tinokurudzira kuchengeta because mweya watinofema kunobva kumiti mvura kuti igarewo yakachena tichichengetedza nekuti ndiye atinoshandisa mukuma mukubika kuti hazvingaitwa ndezve kuti semuse senzvimbo dzine mhuka dzine naraunda yakakonderedza vanhu vari munaraunda idzodzo vanofanira kudzidziswa pamusoro pekukosha kwemhuka kuti vanzwisise semanzwisisiro andave pitawo kuti tigone nekubatsirana kuchengeta there are very few women in conservation it's it's a, it's a male dominated field and i've learned to interact with them i've learned to understand them far much better than than i i understood my brothers and sisters, my brothers and, and 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 cousins at home my my happiest moment is when we receive a new bed especially when it is a rhino the coming in of any other new rhino is an exciting moment for example in april on the 23rd we received isaac which is our youngest baby rhino in the park it was a happy moment it was an exciting moment because of the status of the rhinos we, you know that our white rhino which we have in this park uh, are threatened and the coming in of, of a new baby is an exciting moment because it gives you hope that all your efforts are not going to be in vain the moment you receive a new baby just like a human being you, people say makorokoto in our native language in, in in conservation when you receive a new baby whether baby rhino or baby impala or baby crocodile we say makorokoto and those are happy moments for us as conservators. My saddest moments are the moments when you lose a life. Not a human life, but when you lose a life that you would want to protect most, especially the most threatened life in our park. When we lost a rhino through poachers, I dropped my tears. Looking at the size of, of the rhino, looking at the size of the, the horn that someone killed that rhino for. It was so painful. It was so disheartening. Looking at the effort and the resources that are being invested in trying to conserve the, the wildlife, especially the threatened rhinos. And then you wake up one morning, you find one big rhino sleeping there motionless and you, 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 there's nothing that you can do to, to save it, it's already gone. Each time you lose a specially protected species, be it a rhino, be it an elephant, or any other key species, it breaks, it tears your heart apart. So those are some of the saddest moments that, you, that one wouldn't want to experience. Typical of high felt vegetation, Lake Chiwero Park is dominated by Brachystesia woodland or Miombo woodland, creating enough food for the browsers.
ndo pa base but ninge tichi gara tichi tenderera kweso kuti chidzoka pana kumba tinozodzokera after 2 weeks saka ninge tichi famba masusiku ne maskat tichi tengetedza zvipembere nemuka dzise dzirimo nekuonawo kuti kumpura uko mabonga e fish havasku bata hile watineta wana tishisunga Minha pôs a mamãe na minha A mãe chegou da volta, hoje tu aguenta, não vou na hora de condir And now, Kunke Nata Dambuts go to Gunitsekan and Ashon, who didn't date or shoeira, could in the Pindo Bass, the Gunnabus Ritil, Gunnabu Ritila Muriam. Training a Gunonga Kogan to Omeram, no name wait also eat for any mommy at the Mai, the Basilicanish Rakawanda department. The Kugona, which get it as one equals in Nikain, the Sawanikus, Chiparazga, Nevan, Waketa Sema Pochas. Pinda Mubasa in the Chirida, because Dains Wakuda won a name Kashakanyan of Garapid, Pandaka, Tindabas, and the Gans of Fara, which is the Faranga and Takabata Fit is a challenge and Dingati challenge. Ingo a Gungan dripper matinet. Dagas Takura, Kanaguti, and Daku Yamis. But in Nozo, we manage a foot. Challenge my first bond, no vira kupi saka kuvhazwa ndiriwo akabva ona kushingirira kwe munhukadzi i grew up a parks estate saka ngaitanda kakhulu very parks so nga develop a interest in kuru kakhulu ne parks i like everything about parks 
because we are shallow strong because every day we have exercise. Our shallow one down. We come back to the corner against green and we are really sweet. We are brave. You go turned. No good to know what in Funuku to Niamas and as an alleged good Kunga really poaching. We prevent everything. Good Dala. Um, sends low on one of my daughter. Saka these times, that of a fast says Kwan Suguins. That's why it's tough good to let us in a conservation queens. We are able to do that. To recruit more Avantu to be servants. I'm going to say it's all everywhere. Then we provide ama e transport, ama boats, isn't those of seven seas. Even Tina would sneak guys into those of seven seas, ama uniforms, everything. The same in which we did, did not differ, they never differentiated that uh, these are girls and these are boys. We all did the same training. I think there is uh, more, more women now who are, who are training in, the, in, in, in this field. And women are eventually getting interested. Also, I also rose through the ranks. From 1982, I worked as a cadet ranger. I became a, a, a ranger, a senior ranger, a warden. I became an, um, I headed the regions, and then I came to head offices, head management services. And I always say to women out there, the sky is the limit for women. There are no jobs which are made for men only. We can also manage to do the jobs which men are doing. Ah. Ah. The Zimpax estate is home to some great iconic animals, as was the case with Cecil the lion from Wange National Park that sparked global outcry when it was killed by a trophy hunter in 2015. Isaac, the new baby rhino, has become the new talk of the Lake Chiwero Recreational Park in Zimbabwe. Isaac the rhino is protected and he can attract international status such as Cecil the lion did. I like to tell you basically what we have here at Lake Chiwero. We have a lake that has got more than 10 fish species available to all fishermen. That is for you to enjoy. You might be, you might be able to learn more about fishing if you visit us here. We also have game drives. We have a game park with quite a number of uh, game species including the white rhino. So if you visit us here, we will be able to hire out a vehicle for you and take you in the camper just for you to experience a nature-filled environment uh, to have a better uh, experience in terms of game viewing. We also have horse rides for you to ride here in the park. You can have a guide to escort you on a walk in the park for one hour. We also have accommodation uh, that is budget accommodation just for you to come and refresh for your rest and restoration. Yeah, we cannot compete with others. They are far, far behind us regarding what we provide. This effort is largely attributed to dedicated Zimpax anti-poaching efforts, which is working tirelessly to prevent any form of poaching in this intensive patrol IPZ zone. This has resulted in a population increase of the white rhino species in this particular park. The rhino is believed to have been around for over 50 million years. Conserving baby Isaac is a great move towards the survival of the rhinoceros species and to allow them to be witnessed by future generations of the human species as the rhino and the flora and fauna of nature is a gift to mankind. Rhinos are poached mainly for their horns and poachers are ruthless when it comes to rhinos. Zimpax is determined to protect these endangered species and the country has one of the best conservation efforts in the world. Our rangers are armed so as to protect themselves and much-loved wildlife resources against ruthless poachers. <laughs>